Well, this week's weather has kept snow plows busy, but have they been busy enough in all the right places? Well, some local fire chiefs say no. Seth Kaplan is live with his story. Seth. Valerie Nolish, we got a call from a fire chief in Delaware Township, Juniata County. So we headed up to his fire station to hear and see what he and a few other fire chiefs say they were seeing. I was mad. I was totally mad. I was upset. I was furious. Over what they say is not enough plowing and not enough salt on Juniata County State Roads, including ones near them in Delaware Township. They say they asked PennDOT for more during the other two storms this month. I'm doing this for our community, trying to get some help, get material on the roads. They called us before this storm. When we got there Friday, things didn't look bad. There's actually material on Route 235. I was surprised but grateful that today they actually have material on the roads. Not the case, he says, in past storms. No cinders, no plowing, no nothing on Black Dog Road. As soon as I entered Monaro Township, where the state's supposed to be taken care of. Although, as you can see, rather clear during this storm. Not the case, according to Banner and Leitzel, back on January 6th. They were out plowing, but they did not put any material on the roads. We had numerous accidents. A pile up on 322 with nine vehicles involved. We don't have four wheel drive ambulances and all you did was slip and slide, spin going up on the on ramps. We can see our traffic management center operators out there. PennDOT's Tim Nebgen. Presently in the situation room of our uh, traffic management center here in Clearfield. He says PennDOT prioritizes interstates first, then key state roads. So that would be routes like 322, through the Mifflin and Juniata County area. It says some plow routes are 40 miles long and can take hours to cover when conditions are bad. So the roads aren't going to be necessarily clear of snow and ice. But he says after each storm, PennDOT looks at what it can do better than next time. Of course, there's one key thing PennDOT can't control. People still think they can drive 70 mile an hour when the roads are snow covered. That they've got to learn to slow down. And part of our concern was about materials like salt rather than just plowing. PennDOT actually has a section on its website where it describes how it decides where and when to use which materials. We have a link to that. Eric Finkenbinder at abc27.com.